um, like carrying a, a spinnaker pole. I was talking to somebody the other day. I won't call him out here, but uh, you know he's never used a spinnaker pole. Really? And is ordering a new one out of carbon fiber to a spec that he's creating with their advice. And I was like, why don't you go buy a five hundred dollar aluminum used one and learn how to use it and learn what you want before? Because he's not sure. Does he want a whisker pole? Does he want a fixed pole? How long should it be? How heavy should it be? And all this other stuff. And he's going to spend four thousand dollars on a carbon fiber pole. He's never used it. Yeah, and there's a. So you're right. I mean, there's a huge number of variables. Like, I mean, the first variable is uh, what headsole are you going to use it for, with? Yeah. Because of 150 percent headsail, then you've got a whole bunch of new well, issues. See, to I actually, on. I actually think it's even simpler than that. Is buy a buy a spinnaker pole that's the length of the J and get it heavier so that you can use it with a spinnaker, but you're probably going to use it with a jib. And if your jib's too big, take a few rolls in it. That's exactly what I do. Eat, done. Actually, well, I I, on the mast, that's all I, I go a step further and I say have a cutter rig, in which case you've got 110 percent jib top, mm. and that works beautifully on the pole. Exactly, because that's where and, you roll it up to anyway. Yeah. And,